here's a graph of the function or the situation. The red line is the graph of y equals 1 over the square root of x. <coughs> I have one dotted line, which is the line x equals m, which has to be m has to be positive, and x equals 2m will, of course, be to the right of m. Uh, and this region right here is revolved around the x-axis. So this is a typical disk that's revolved around that x-axis. And the height of that disk for each x value in the interval from m to 2m is 1 over the square root of the x value which is represented right here. And so we know by the disk method that the volume of that solid will be pi times the integral, definite integral from A to B or M to 2M of F of X squared, the radius squared. So um, I'm going to share my screen real quick. Go to Desmos. And I use the letter K here instead of the letter M. But watch what happens. Here's the integral right here, 2.177586. As k increases, those two vertical lines slide to the right, but look what's happening to the integral. It has the same value, no matter what the value of m. And it turns out, it looks like pi times the natural log of 2 has the same value as that definite integral. So the question is, how did we evaluate that definite integral? So let's go back to here. Uh, if I square this quantity, I get x to the minus 1, or 1 over x. <clears throat> the antiderivative of 1 over x is the natural log of x. And I want to evaluate that from m to 2m. And I still have this pi sitting out here. But inside the brackets, I've got the natural log of 2m minus the natural log of m. Again, where m is greater than 0. And by properties of logarithms, I can write that as the natural log of 2m divided by m. property of logarithms, the log of a difference is equal to the log of the product. These m's cancel out, and there's your the value of that solid of revolution. So it looks like the volume is independent of m. It doesn't matter what value you have for m, the volume will have the same value. So there you go. Hope that helped. Mm -hmm.